Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I am going to open the next miniverse. I know I am opening a lot of these here in this month, uh, but I have all three of the holiday um, series one from last year and I want to do them this year because uh, I didn't get into it last year because they were not in the stores last Christmas. So I'm gonna do it now and I think they are fitting very well. Anyway, we are going to open this one. This should be the turkey, so let's try out. Last time I actually managed to open this um, blind ball without ripping this little touch strip. strip. And I already ripped it. So I'm not sure I can do it this time. Let me try from here. Yeah, I ripped that. Yeah, this is not gonna work. Okay. Ah, this is not gonna work at all. Okay, let's do it like this. Oh, this is really, really translucent. Sometimes they are more foggy and non-translucent and um, that's sad if you want to use it as a um, box for uh, showing it or showing your creation saving your creation but anyway who is actually creating the things and then just leaving it in the dome let's see if I can do this all the way through oh yes very nice very very nice so let's open this one again we have the golden ball i'm gonna put that to the side we have the table with the golden leg this one is around a centimeter too small for being a 1 to 12 table oh and it fits really nicely in here if i can do it let's place this there we go no nope. there we go and then this on top and it's kind of crooked I don't know why it is that uh, anyway then you can show your creation here I don't like that it's so crooked crooked but it's straight in there so I don't know what's happening is this one just I think this one is just crooked anyway that's that that box and then we have um, a little envelope here I'm gonna save that for last then we have one two three four five bags here uh, and the guide of how to do it let's open a bag let's take this one and I'm just ripping it oh that's a turkey that's pretty neat and I really love the way they are packaging everything so it's really really a cool little turkey then let's take the ut utensils and here we have the little tweezers oh we have a lot of things in here we have these pieces here I think that's for the feet of the turkey yeah I'm sure it is then we have the top for the lid and I'm just pushing it in there so now the lid for the little dome is all done and we have this cute little um, pencil for brushing on the um, what do you call that oh well you know what I'm meaning what I'm thinking of anyway we have this one it says happy sun farm that's actually pretty funny when it's uh, a Christmas thing that it is and the, it, it is Christmas theme here but it's still happy sun sun farm oops I almost tore that apart we have some different colored carrots in a nice little cute bag oh that's pretty he's running the uh, running with the I don't know what that's called a troller something like that with the carrots in there I like that one then we have this one I think that's the resin let's open up and see yeah that's the resin glaze oh it's for a glaze okay I really like these bot bottles 
that was the warning. Um, only thing that I find sad is that you have to get rid of them because you can't um, you can't um, harden the resin inside of them so you have to get rid of them and you have to do it right so that it's not gonna poison anything um, and I actually think that is a tiny bit sad because these are so nicely done I really like those and then the last one we have a nice plate yes that's it so we have a nice plate for that one uh, let me just open the last little thing here it's a nice little envelope happy holidays oh it's just a little card that you can use with your dolls and whatever or you can have it lying next to the turkey and even this little um, thing here plate is beautiful sadly we are going to cover that one out up out over cover that up uh, with the turkey when we're working on it anyway give me a second to clean and then I will be back so I did tidy up my workspace a tiny bit here so that uh, we can see what I have and I'm just gonna put the little card to the side and then take a look here they want us to place the carrots and the um, turkey on the board and then pop the glaze on there. Okay, let's do that. So first of all, I need to get the turkey out of the wrapping here. So I'm just going to be careful with that. It's really, really nice, nicely made. So I could leave it uh, without gluing it to the uh, dish. I, I don't know why words are coming so hard right now. But I could leave it so that you, uh, if you want to play with it, uh, with the dolls for the dollhouse, you can still use the plate or dish for something else. And then you could put this back. Um, but I'm not sure I'm going to do that. But you could leave it like that. Um, I think that we are going to put everything together just because. And I really like these little small jibbers here to uh, close up the back. Is it on... Um, closed here in the top as well. Do I have to cut it? Wow. I think I might have to cut. Yes, I have to cut it open. I'm just going to use my knife here to the side because I can't reach my scissor right now. There we go. Now it's open. Bring out the carrots. That are some nice long carrots and they want us just to pack them in here around uh, around the turkey I actually think it would be funny to cut one of these open and then um, place small pieces of it on the board as well but I'm not sure it is colored all the way through oh let me take off this and these are going on the legs here on the drumstick see if I can get them on there we go and the other one that's tight fit come on can do this there we go that's pretty neat okay so we can do that and I am gonna try this I'm um, just gonna take my sharp knife here and then just cut a slice oh it's orange on the inside as well so we can do that 
cut slices of one of these so I'm just slicing one of them It's fairly easy to cut. I think I'm gonna stop right there. And I had a little piece, where did it go? Right there. I'm gonna throw that piece out because it's cut really crooked. So I'm just gonna Pop that into my plastic garbage later. I'll oh, get off, get off, get off. There we go. So now to the roast itself. Um, I'm gonna take a toothpick. Just give me a second. And there we go. Um, and then we are going to open this little nice resin can here or glaze let's see if this one is open as well it is that's a nice translucent one I'm not gonna use this one uh, I could and then but I I don't want to because uh, it will ruin it and then you won't be able to use it for anything else and I actually think it's really really cute and it could use be used for the dolls if you have one so I'm using a toothpick instead and first of all I need to figure out what to do here I want to uh, glue this down and I know that resin under this big piece is not a good idea so I'm going to take my super glue here and just uh, pop on a few dots of that and place it on the tray this way I'm sure that it will stay where I placed it and it's already gripping good um, let's see how they did that yeah they put them all the way around I was thinking of uh, something like the purples first and then the orange, no, the yellow ones and then the orange ones and then this one that we um, made into pieces just popping the pieces on the tray here this corner I actually would have loved if there was some uh, spices with this dish here uh, let's see just trying to place the things here around the turkey like I want them to be it could be fun to cut off a piece of the turkey but I'm afraid how it will look inside and uh, we want it to be light brown in there if, if we wanted to do this, so I'm not sure we're gonna do that. There we go. I like this. And now for the glaze, just pop it on the chicken. Sorry about that, that's my cat. And he wants attention and he wants it now. Come on out. There we go. Let's see if that's enough. Oh, it might not be. So I'm just gonna smear this all over my turkey.
kind of letting it flow as it wants to. it all over the turkey here looking really nicely moist and delicious and I need a tiny bit for around my carrots to make sure that they stay in place all the pieces that we made I want it all to be in place when it's all hardened. Oh, this is really good. Stay. No, I want you to stay in the other direction. There we go. Stay like that. And we want some around the purple here to make sure that one is going to stay in place as well. Turn around the tray and do the same over here. Making sure that everything is going to stay in place. here on the purple one making sure I'm not sticking my fingers into the resin we don't want that but we want everything else to be um, having a nice layer of this resin I want a tiny bit more here at the bottom part of this tree Whoops, that was the wrong place. I don't want it on the pieces for the feet. There we go. And I want a tiny bit more here on the tray over at this end here. I think that looks really really neat. Um, I'm gonna take my baby wipe and trying to get that off that I got on this little piece here. There we go. And then I'm going to put my um, creation under my UV light. Just give me a second. I'm gonna put this lid back on. There we go. Put the creation and the stick here under the UV light to make sure everything is hardened before I throw the stick out. Um, I will be back when it's done. Here is the done turkey. It's all hardened and it is nice and dry so nothing is sticky. Let's start with um, making the turkey here. I am using a, I think it is a biscuit color um for the bones in the ties of the turkey so i'm just first of all rolling this piece where i have kind of a, a bubble on top and this is gonna be the top bone part or the bone part that is sticking out on the turkey leg so i'm kind of shaping the bone part here and trying to make the leg piece here or the bone piece thin enough 
for 1 to 12. Um, and I'm taking my time with this and just continue working until I'm happy with it. And then, of course, I'm going to make two of these. And you need to bake these before you can make your turkey. So my bones have been baked um, and now I am using this color here for making the turkey itself. First of all, I am using this um, blob of clay for making the turkey body. And I first rolled that into a ball and then I rolled it into a teardrop and now I'm shaping it into the body of um, the turkey. Now for the drumsticks, the legs. I am using a piece of the clay again and I'm trying to figure out how big or how small I want the drumsticks to be and then I am gonna make two of the same size and I'm gonna use my bacon bond to make sure that the bone piece will stay inside of the meat piece of the turkey I'm sorry it's right here uh, so I'm just again shaping first a ball and then this uh, teardrop shape and I'm trying to again make these the same size. So first roll it into a ball, then teardrop and then I am poking a nice hole here in the end for the bone to uh, go using some of my bick and bond on the bone because it is hardened clay and hardened clay and unhardened clay won't stick as well together uh, as you want them to uh, so you need to put the bick and bond on there to make sure everything will stick together when it's all done and i'm just making room for it placing the bone in there and then i am going to shape the drumstick here and just making sure everything is sticking nicely together before I I'll continue with putting it onto the turkey itself. I think this is fine. Now I'm just gonna do the same with the other one, uh, but let me just place the drumstick here. Again, I'm using bacon bond to make sure everything will stick together. So I'm just placing a tiny bit of that everywhere where I want to put another piece of clay. Then I'm just going to take my drumstick when I'm happy with this pick and bond and then place that right on top of the pick and bond. Actually, I'm just making a kind of flat surface here on one side of the drumstick and squeezing it onto the body of my turkey. And again, I'm making the other uh, drumstick just the same way. I'm going to skip this because you have seen that once. Now for the wing part, I am taking two pieces of clay, trying to keep them in the same size. And I always start with rolling a ball and then I'm rolling it into this carrot shape. Uh, so a really oblong teardrop and I'm trying to make them equal. Then I'm bending it right on the middle just like that and there you actually have your little wing piece for the turkey it's quite simple to make the wings uh, you just have to bend them to uh, one to one way and one to the other direction so that they can sit right on your turkey and then I'm just gonna place them here on the side of the turkeys turkey not turkeys uh, and I'm gonna take my uh, dotting tool to make some dots on the, um, what you call that, the skin of the turkey. So it looks a little more realistic. And I'm really taking my time with this and dotting all over the little body here. Uh, even the wings get a lot of texture. Um, and I'm gonna skip a lot of this because this took me quite some time to make the skin look right. But I'm actually just using a dotting tool Actually, I think I'm finding one that is a tiny bit bigger here. So I'm just using the dotting tool to dot the skin all over to give it the right texture. 
When I am happy with the texture of the skin, I am going in with my soft pastels. First, I'm using this light brown soft pastel all over the body of my turkey, making sure that I have a nice uh, base color that I like my turkey to be. I don't want mine to be just as red as the uh, one from Miniverse, but I am going to go for a more reddish look than it has right now. But first with the light brown. Then I am going in with this more darker brown, more normal brown, and I am really going in there, especially in the folds and the creases, creases with this color. Um, but I'm uh, kind of giving everything of my turkey with this brownish color because I want it to be a little more brownish than the yellowish color. Uh, and I want this uh, top hole for the neck part to be really, really dark. So I'm giving that quite a lot. And the same at the bottom part of the uh, turkey here. Then I go in with this more reddish brown, darker reddish brown color. And again, I'm giving it a lot in the creases um, and a lot here in the neck area down the middle of the uh, breast part, I think it's called. The legs and the wings, don't forget those. And then I'm going in with this really, really dark brown color. It looks like it had been burning the chicken a bit and I want the opening up here a bit more dark because it is actually a hole into the turkey. Did I just call it a chicken? I'm sorry about that. It's a turkey. Um, and I'm trying to give it enough but not too much. You don't want it to be like burned burned. That won't look nice. And again I'm using the black uh, again for the top part here so it really looks like something has been cut off there. And that's my turkey. Now it's time to bake it. So the turkey from the Miniverse has this really nice uh, squarish dish, but I am going in with this round one. I think it's big enough for my turkey. Um, I don't have um, any squarish shapes to kind of build that out from. So, uh, and I wanted to get this over it and get this um, dish all done. Um, so I kind of took the easy way and took this little round piece of clay and made a round dish of it. Um, yeah, maybe you can do it better than I am or buy the dish where you can place the turkey on. Uh, I actually think this ended out really nice in the end though. I used a dotting tool to kind of make an indent all the way around the edge of the plate this way or the dish. This way I could um, fold up the outer rim of the, the dish here. Uh, to make kind of a more deeper dish for the turkey. Um, I could have made uh, the dish from 3D printing, but I really want to do these as much as possible with clay, because I know some of you don't have a 3D printer and you might have to uh, want to make these as well. So I'm really, really trying to keep um, these uh, creation in the clay area. Um, it is a difficult bit difficult here and there, but I'm really trying to. So um, my dish is done and here you see the carrots. I am using a rest piece of orange clay for the carrots uh, and I'm just uh, taking off uh, some small pieces here for them. First I roll them into a bowl. Then I roll them into a teardrop and then I make them into the carrots. It's uh, very simple. Um, I am going to make three carrots, not six of them. I'm only using three this time. Uh, I am only making them in orange, not in yellow or in the purple color. Um, but you can do that if you want to. 
I'm not gonna put the green top on my carrots because I think that is unrealistic. Uh, whenever we make carrots, we cut off the top end of the carrots so that you don't have the green top in your dish. I don't think that looks good. And that's what I'm trying to imitate here by cutting off the big end of my carrots, uh, making sure everything is nice and round still. Then I am using this, it is kind of a needle tool, but it's not a needle. But I'm using this tool here to make kind of small indents, uh, just like there are on carrots. And I'm going to do that on all three of these. After baking, I sanded the edge of my little plate or dish here so that it looks nice and neat. It looks like I only did it for three seconds here, but I actually did take my time and use uh, quite some time for doing that. I want to make these paper things around the uh, bones of the turkey. So I'm folding up a piece of normal um, print printing paper. And I'm just cutting out that fold and I think that was a bit too wide. So I'm just cutting a tiny bit more of this fold so that I have the fold on one side and the opening on the other side. On the folded side, I am cutting in the small indents here and I'm doing that uh, down the uh, piece of paper until I think I have the length that I need. And I'm just going to measure for the other one. And I'm just going to do the same thing for the other leg here and cut that off. And then I am actually going to glue that around the leg of this uh, turkey. I'm trying to open it a tiny bit with my uh, toothpiece toothpick before I um, start gluing that around. It is actually unnecessary because it just folds flat together again. Um, but it's fine when you have glued it on the leg. It looks still really nice. So I'm just using my taggy glue and then gluing uh, the part that is open around the top part and the cut part is on the bottom part of the leg. I'm sorry that I'm off camera here. Um, sometimes I am just working and not um, looking what I am doing or if I am in the camera view. So I'm really, really, really sorry about that. Um, but yeah, and I'm doing the same thing on the other piece of paper. First opening it up a tiny bit, putting glue around the leg piece and then placing this around the leg. I'm going to stop that here because you can't see anything. Well, my turkey now have these paper things around the feet and that looks pretty neat. Um, I am going to use my super glue gel to put the turkey on the little dish. Just a tiny bit of glue and then gluing it in place. The same with my carrots here. Um, just gluing that in place. Then I have some carrots uh, from a uh, cane I made once. I will see if I can find the link for that one so you can see how I made that cane. But you could just make some, um, what do you call that? Roll a piece of orange clay out in a cane and then cut that into slices. That is perfectly working as well if you want to. This one has a little more detail than that. Um, and I glued that onto the plate with a tiny bit of my uh, tacky glue. Um, then I have this little, I don't know what you call this in English, but I have this little thing where I am having a piece of green uh, clay that I actually baked. And I'm just going to uh, <laughs> use this little metal thing to grind it. Is it a grinder? I think it's a grinder, whatever. So that I have these small pieces of greenery uh, that I can use on my turkey for some um, seasoning. 
I like it to season my turkey a tiny bit. So I am using my Fimo um, glaze, my Fimo glaze for the turkey here. Here we go. So just uh, giving all the body a nice small layer of Fimo glaze. And then I am taking my green um, uh, season seasonings. And I am just uh, drizzling that over the turkey and into the glaze. And the glaze will make it glue and stick together with the turkey. So you don't need glue when you are using the glaze. So I'm just um, putting my finger in it and uh, putting it on the turkey. I have it all over right now. But that is it for my turkey. I actually think this came out really, 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 really cool. So that was a lot of work, but I actually enjoyed that uh, a lot. It's a long time ago I made something like this. Also, uh, here we have the miniverse turkey with the carrots and um, everything on there. Um, and then, of course, we have the one I made in the version of 1 to 12. And I think this came out really, really good. I like the little um, specks of green there the seasoning. So that's it. Thank you for watching and happy crafting.